Imagine waking up one morning, looking out the window, and thinking, you might see your home son for the last time. Pack your bags, get on a plane, all the way from Africa to Michigan and Arbor. What are you to expect? A young boy expected to find a different life. He was wrong. How about you? What do you expect? What do you expect to find in Africa? Well, most people think that Africa is a big country, many zoos, very little, or barely any civilization. This is mainly because when tourists come to Africa, they're not looking for our civilizations. They're not looking for our buildings. They are looking for our culture. They are looking for our buildings. They are looking for our forests. For the record, Africa is actually civilized. Yes, it does have some forests, but it's not like a whole country is dedicated to wildlife. And Africa is not a country. It's a continent. On the east heart of this continent lies a country called Uganda. Uganda is not a very large country, but on the road to development. Uganda has nice physical features, a big city, and a growing economy dependent on its agriculture produce and many other economic activities in its capital city, Kampala. Ugandans have a very strong sense towards politics. Our current president is His Excellency Yorick Buta Museveni. He has been in power for over 30 years, the typical African president. When most people think of Ugandan politics, they think of the political tyrant Idi Amin Dada, who took over power through a coup against our former president, His Excellency Milton Obote. When most people who have been to Uganda talk of Uganda, they talk of the sunshine that shines throughout the year with little rain and wind. Uganda actually appreciates the sunshine. Its flag is painted yellow, representing the sunshine. In this sunshine, a boy stares dreaming that one day he would achieve his dreams in the US. My name is Abdul Kizito. I was born to a single hardworking lecturer at one of the great universities in Uganda. My mom has been very successful. She raised me and my sister in a very good way. One day at my boarding school, my mom brought me the outside. It's basically a term which we use to mean the fast food. As I was devouring this food, my mom told me she'd applied for Fulbright scholarship. I was very excited knowing that I would have an opportunity to go and study in the US. She got the opportunity, and so did I. Here I am. When I came to the US, I expected to find a different culture, a different system. But I was wrong. Culture is the way of life. That's what I thought. What I learned from America is culture are the values that drive our way of life. America has similar cultures to, America, to Uganda. Uganda, when I think of culture, I would think of tribes like the Baganda and the Vigisu, but still knowing it's the way of life. I was wrong. Culture are the values, values like respect. This is something that my mom and many adults always tell their children. Like kindness, people are able to tell their children many times to always say sorry and please, like free speech. People are free to express their opinions and ideas just like right now. This and many more was what was able to make me to adapt in this society. The similarities don't just end there. They continue. Even in our buildings, Uganda has tall buildings just like America. Just like in New York, they have a tall building. Even in Uganda, we have tall buildings. The national population to New York, to the national, popu to the national population, is 2.4. In Uganda, Kampala to the national population is 2.7. The same, right? Even people, the same exact diva in California is found in Uganda. The same exact smart guy in Ann Arbor is found in Kabale, Uganda. So think, culture is the way of life. Are the dreams of a Ugandan boy all that different from that of an American boy? Thank you.